welcome. Today I want to carry on from my live face tutorial by showing you how to use live face with metahumans. Okay, so this is where we ended the last tutorial. We set up so we could use live face in iClone to record animation. What we're going to do today is set up Unreal Live Link. And to do this, we go to plugins, Unreal Live Link, and click on Unreal Live Link. Here it is. I've already got mine open. There are two tabs here. We have transfer for transferring files over and live link. What I'm going to do is disable all the things that I don't need today. So that's the props, the camera and the light. I'm just going to be using this character here, which is named Deborah. And we can activate the link here. Here I have an Unreal Engine 5 project with a metahuman already loaded into the scene. In order to animate this metahuman's face, via live link, we're going to have to enable some plugins. So first I search for iClone and I will enable both of these Reillusion plugins here. And next we're going to need a couple of other plugins for use with the new timecode feature with iClone. So we need to enable Media Framework Utilities and Media Input Output Framework. Okay, and then we're going to restart the engine. Next, you're going to need the MetaHuman Live Link Kit from Reillusion. You can download this via the website. We're going to need to copy these files to our project. So I extract them. In my case, I'm using WinRAW. And if we open up this folder, there are two folders and a file. This is the 3D Exchange profile for iClone. In here, we have MetaHuman Dummies. I will cover these in a future tutorial. Then we have this content folder. This is the one we're interested in today. Inside the content folder, there is an iClone folder and a MetaHumans folder. What I'm going to do is select these and copy them to my project folder. I'm going to close the engine first. Then open my project folder in the Explorer. I'm going to paste here and when it asks me if I want to replace, yes, I want to replace. And that's it. We can now open up Unreal Engine 5 again. With Unreal Engine 5 reopened, you may at this point want to set the engine scalability settings to maybe high and also you may want to use unlit for your scene if your computer is running slow. Next, we're going to set up Live Link. Go to Window, Virtual Production, Live Link. Click on Source, go to iClone Live Link and click OK. Here we can see our Deborah character as the subject. And I'm going to come over here to Evaluation Mode and set it to Timecode. Next, select your MetaHuman, scroll down until you find Live Link and find Arkit Face Subject and set it to your character, in this case Deborah, and use Arkit Face. We're going to leave Body Subject today. Next, we need to create a media profile. Click these three dots and create a new empty media profile. Select Media Profile and select and give it a name. In my name, I'll, I'll call this tutorial for this. Scroll down to Time Code Provider and Override Project Settings. In Time Code Provider, set Live Link Time Code Provider. In Time Code, set it to your subject, in my case, Deborah. In Evaluation, set it to Latest. And Override Frame Rate to 60, as 60 frames per second is what I clone users by default. If you do have a different frame rate, you would put that here. Apply and save and that's it. Next, I want to place iClone and Unreal Engine in Windows side by side so I can see both. 
I'm going to go to iClone 8 Project Settings. And from here, I'm going to set the time mode to by frame and time unit to time. Back in Unreal Engine 5, I'm going to go to Window, Cinematics, Take Recorder, and that will open up the Take Recorder. Okay, I'm going to click Source from Live Link and choose my subject. Then I'm going to open up the settings. I'm going to make sure that Recording Clock Source is set to Time Code. And then I'm going to dock this Take Recorder here. With my phone connected and everything set up, it's now time to record. Click record in the tape recorder and then hit spacebar in iClone. The good thing about this method is it's using time code to record, so it will not record until I hit spacebar in iClone. Go to cinematics and takes and here are your takes that you've recorded. Find the subfolder of the scene that you want. Open it up. Here's the one I'm going to be testing with. For the purposes of this tutorial, it's fine. Come here to this unlock icon and unlock. Then we're going to find our metahuman. And add that as a track. I'm then going to delete body and the control rig for the face. I'm just checking here that it's still working. I select face, right click and bake to animation sequence. I'm going to save this sequence to MetaHumans animations. I'll call it face tut 001 and export animation and that's it. So if we open up that animation now, here we have it. We have an animation asset. Let's try this asset out in a sequence. So I create a basic sequence. Test shot two. And I'm going to set the frame rate to 60 because that's what the animation is. I'm going to add my meta human to the sequencer. And I'm going to delete the body control rig and the face control rig. I'm going to select my face and I'm going to add an animation track with the animation that I just created. Here it is, face tot 001. And now, as you can see, it's playing the animation. If we switch out of animation mode, this is what we have. With some discoloration in the face, please ignore that. Next, I'm going to add some body animation. Um, I will just choose this one from the top for this tutorial. And if we open that up, this is what it is. It's just an idle animation. And while we're here, I'm going to set this, in this case, to force custom mode. And there we go. We now have body and facial animation. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.